Yuji Itadori's life changed forever the moment he swallowed a cursed object, Ryomen Sukuna's finger. In that instant, he became the vessel for the King of Curses, a fate that has burdened him ever since. But what if this decision has doomed Yuji to a fate far worse than death? Today, we delve into the horrifying reality of sharing a body with Sukuna and the dark path that lies ahead for Yuji Itadori. The question we must ask ourselves is, can Yuji Itadori overcome the curse within him, or is he destined to be consumed by the darkness? It all began with a single act of desperation. Yuji Itadori, a high school student with a natural talent for athletics, found himself in a situation where his friends' lives were on the line. Without fully understanding the consequences, Yuji swallowed one of Sukuna's cursed fingers, an act that would forever bind his fate to the King of Curses. Visual Flashbacks to Yuji's initial transformation as Sukuna takes over his body for the first time. The moment Sukuna awakened within him, Yuji was thrust into a world of darkness and unimaginable power. For the first time, he felt the malevolent force of the curse coursing through his veins, threatening to consume him entirely. But instead of being overtaken, Yuji did the impossible. He suppressed Sukuna's control and reclaimed his body. But this victory came at a cost. By swallowing Sukuna's finger, Yuji had inadvertently become the vessel for the most feared curse in existence. And with that, his life was no longer his own. As Yuji continues to live with Sukuna inside him, the psychological and emotional toll begins to take its toll. Every day, he carries the weight of knowing that a monster resides within him, a monster that could take control at any moment. This constant threat gnaws at Yuji's sanity, pushing him to the brink. There are moments when Sukuna's presence is almost palpable, when his malevolent influence seeps into Yuji's consciousness, taunting him, mocking him. These encounters serve as a cruel reminder that no matter how strong Yuji becomes, he is never truly in control. The King of Curses is always there, lurking in the shadows of his mind. Perhaps the most tragic aspect of Yuji's situation is the emotional toll it takes on him. He is surrounded by friends and allies who see him as a hero, a beacon of hope in a world plagued by curses. Yet, deep down, Yuji knows that he is a ticking time bomb, and that one day, Sukuna might push him to do something unforgivable. Visual. Focus on a scene where Yuji is alone, possibly looking into a mirror, with Sukuna's reflection staring back at him. This constant struggle between light and darkness, between Yuji's desire to protect others and the ever-present threat of Sukuna's influence, is what defines his existence. And as time goes on, the lines between who Yuji is and who Sukuna could make him become start to blur. Part Yuji Itadori's journey is not just a battle against external enemies, but also an internal war against his own conscience. Time and again, he is faced with impossible choices, Decisions that force him to weigh the lives of others against the risk of unleashing Sukuna's wrath. In moments of desperation, Yuji has tapped into Sukuna's power, drawing on the curse's immense strength to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. But each time he does, he edges closer to losing himself. The more he relies on Sukuna, the more he risks becoming a puppet to the King of Curses. Visual. Show a scene where Yuji struggles with the morality of his actions perhaps confiding in a close ally like Megumi or Nobara. These moral dilemmas weigh heavily on Yuji. He knows that using Sukuna's power is a double-edged sword, one that could save lives in the short term but lead to greater destruction in the long run. And yet, in the heat of battle, when the lives of his friends are at stake, Yuji often finds himself with no other choice. The fear that one day Sukuna will seize control completely is ever-present. Yuji knows that the King of Curses is biding his time, waiting for the perfect moment to take over and wreak havoc, and with each passing day, the possibility that Yuji might lose this internal battle becomes more real. As the vessel for Sukuna, Yuji's fate is uncertain, and the consequences of his unique situation are terrifying to contemplate. What happens if Sukuna gains full control? Will Yuji be able to resist, or will he be consumed by the darkness within him? There are many theories about what could happen to Yuji. Some believe that Sukuna's influence will continue to grow until Yuji is no longer able to suppress him. Others speculate that Sukuna might manipulate Yuji into making a catastrophic decision, one that could change the course of the entire series. Another chilling possibility is that Yuji might lose his humanity altogether. As the King of Curses, Sukuna is a force of pure malevolence, and his presence within Yuji's body could gradually erode Yuji's sense of self. The line between man and monster is already thin, and as time goes on, it may disappear entirely. Ultimately, the question remains, is Yuji Itadori strong enough to withstand the curse within him, or will he fall victim to the very power he sought to contain? As the story of Jujutsu Kaisen continues to unfold, one thing is certain, Yuji's journey is fraught with danger, and the stakes have never been higher.
Yuji Itadori is a character defined by his struggle against overwhelming odds. He never asked to become Sukuna's vessel, but now he must bear the burden of this curse, fighting every day to maintain control over his own life. It's a battle that few could endure, and yet Yuji faces it with unwavering resolve. But as strong as Yuji is, the darkness within him continues to grow. Will he find a way to free himself from Sukuna's grasp, or is he doomed to be consumed by the curse? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Yuji's fate is far from sealed. Thank you for watching this deep dive into the tragic fate of Yuji Itadori. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth explorations of your favorite anime characters. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know who you'd like us to cover next.